this is one six inch one fifty pound SS three one six or SS three one six L spiral room gasket. This is inner ring and this is outer ring and this is SS graphite portion. Inner ring and outer ring is of SS three one six and SS three one six L. This is another three inch. 150 pound SS304 or SS304L spiral rule metallic gasket. This is stainless steel inner ring and this is stainless steel outer ring. SS304 or 304L inner ring and outer ring. This type of spiral rule gaskets are used for high pressure and high temperature service and even for low temperature cryogenic service. Dimensions of this type of spiral room gasket is covered in ASME B1620 and this type of spiral room gasket is having three parts. This is inner ring, this is outer ring and this is SS graphite portion. Inner ring thickness is 3 mm and inner ring is provided to prevent backward buckling of spiral winding this portion when it is pressed in between flanges on raised face. And this is outer ring. This outer ring is called centering ring. Thickness of this outer ring is also 3 mm. Now this spiral loom portion is of alternate plies of stainless steel winding plus graphite for graphite filler and PTFE for PTFE filler and thickness of this stainless steel winding is 0.2 mm. For stainless steel line this inner ring and outer ring is of stainless steel. But for carbon steel line, inner ring is always of stainless steel but outer ring can be of carbon steel. But we always prefer to take inner ring of stainless steel and also outer ring of stainless steel so that we will have better flexibility and better interchangeability. If we take section of this then it looks like this. This is centering ring or outer ring. This is inner ring and this is metal winding like this, like this and PTFE filler or graphite filler. In this zone PTFE filler or graphite filler is there and alternate layer of metal winding is there. As per ASME B16.20, this outer portion should have three layers of metal winding so that filler cannot come out and inner layer will also should have three layers of metal winding so that filler will not be able to come out. And this portion thickness is 4.5 mm and thickness of inner ring is 3 mm and thickness of outer ring is also 3 mm. After compression, thickness of this SS graphite portion, this portion should be minimum 3.4 mm as per ASME B1620. This outer ring is having this type of groove inside and inner ring is having this type of projected part outside and shape of the metal winding is like this, like this. This is DN80 means 3 inch 150 pound SS WNRF flange. And this is 3 inch 150 pound 
this is graphite spiral root gasket so when we place it over the flange it is placed like this that means outer ring touches bold inner surface that's why this outer ring is called centering ring so the gasket is placed centrally with the help of outer ring then this is on 3 inch 150 pound wafer type check valve dual plate type so when we place it over the flange and gasket it fits exactly like this now there is color coding as per asme b 1620 This color is yellow. Yellow. Yellow with gray strip. This is gray. This is gray. As for ASME B sixteen twenty, if the winding spiral winding is of SS three zero four, then this color will be yellow. And if the filler material is of graphite, then this color will be gray and another gasket say this gasket for this gasket this outer color is green as per asmb 1620 this winding is of ss316 or ss316l that's why this color is green and filler material is of graphite that's why gray strip is there gray strip like this like this if filler material is of ptfe then there will be white strip instead of gray strip as per asme b 1620 all spiral room gasket need not to have inner ring this gasket is having only ss graphite portion and outer ring but there is no inner ring for this gasket also there is no inner ring as per asme b 1620 up to certain size and up to certain pressure rating inner ring is not required but if we provide inner ring it will be better because then after pressing this ss graphite portion this filler material or ss winding will not come inside the pipeline this type of spiral loom gasket is for one time use when we place the gasket in between two flanges then this ss graphite portion is compressed and when we take out the gasket then gasket becomes like this this is the metal winding of 0.2 mm thick and this is the filler material soft material graphite so this type of spiral loom gasket is for one time use after that when we open it stainless steel winding comes out like this like this so we should take minimum two sets of spiral loom gasket one set for testing purpose and one set as final gasket if our total quantity requirement is 40 numbers then we should purchase 40 plus 40 this 40 is for testing purpose and this 40 as permanent plus 10% margin of this 40 plus 40 so if our requirement is say for 3 inch 150 pound our requirement is 40 numbers of gasket so we should purchase 40 numbers for testing purpose 40 numbers for permanent purpose and 10% margin so total quantity will become 88 numbers now this is on failure gasket this is outer ring and this is inner ring it was like this 
and this is the metal winding this metal winding is having curvature like this and this metal winding is of 0.2 mm thickness and this is filler material means graphite like this this is breaking and this outer ring is having groove like this this is the groove and this is the inner ring is having curvature outside this is the curvature outside and metal winding is like this over the inner ring like this this is the metal winding